standard battle. As generals, you have all agreed to reveal your strategies openly. In this round, you play the base game where all players place their bids face up for all to see. You can also play two consecutive bids to reduce the risk, but you will gain half the points. Each player gets a set of bidding tokens, which varies depending on the player count. Place all the coins near the play area, creating the treasury. Choose a dealer randomly. The dealer gets a dice and the round tracker. Then the dealer follows these steps. The dealer uses the round tracker to keep track of the number of cards to deal for the round. In round one, deals everyone two cards. In round two, deals four cards, and so on. The dealer rolls the dice to determine the trump suit for the round. If the dice shows one of the four suits, then that suit becomes a trump suit. And if the dice shows a dragon sign, the dealer chooses a trump suit. If the dice shows an X, then there will be no trump suit for the round. Starting with the player to the dealer's left and moving clockwise, each player predicts the number of tricks they will win and plays their bidding tokens face up in front of them. Place one bidding token showing the number of tricks you plan to win. Players have two bidding options, the single bid and the double bid. Place two consecutive bidding tokens showing you plan to win either of those two numbers of tricks. The player to the dealer's left starts the first trick by playing a card face up. Play goes clockwise with each player playing one card face up. The player with the most powerful card wins the trick. The winner of the trick starts the next one. This continues until all tricks are played. After all tricks are played, the round ends and players move to the scoring phase. Each player compares the number of tricks they have won with their prediction and scores accordingly. A correct single bid gains 20 bonus points plus 10 points per trick won. A correct double bid gets half the single bid, which is 10 bonus points plus 5 points per trick won. For the incorrect bids, if you miss by one, you get no points, and if you miss by more than one, you lose 10 points per trick above or below your prediction. If the first card played is a numbered card, its suit becomes the leading suit for the trick. If the first card is a peasant or special ability card, the first numbered card played afterward sets the leading suit. If the first card is a golem or a dragon, there is no leading suit, and players can play any card they wish. After a leading suit is established, players must play a card from that suit, or a peasant, golem, dragon, or special ability card, which can be played at any time. If a player has no cards of the leading suit, they can play any other card, including a trump suit card. After all players have played a card, the trick ends and the player who played the most powerful card wins. Otherwise, determine the winner based on the following hierarchy. Dragons beat all the cards. If there are multiple dragons, the first one played wins. Golems beat numbered cards. If there are multiple golems, the first one played wins. Trump cards beat non-trump numbered cards. If there are multiple trump cards, the highest trump wins. For the non-trump numbered cards, the highest card of the leading suit wins, ignoring cards from other suits. Let's do an example. In this example, the first card played is a peasant, which does not set the leading suit. The next player plays a blue 13, setting blue as the leading suit. The third player has no blue cards and plays a green 12, which is the trump suit, and gains the advantage. The next player plays a golem, which beats the trump green 12. Then a dragon is played, taking the advantage. The last player also plays a dragon, but the advantage stays with the first dragon played. The winner collects all the cards from the trick and places them face down near their playing area. Keep the trick separated to easily count the number of tricks each player wins during the round. At the end of each round, the player with the highest value in coins gets the crown, symbolizing their temporary dominance. In case of a tie, the crown does not change hands. After playing all rounds, the player with the crown becomes the new ruler of Crown Battle's throne. Until the next time you play.